if this majority of underrepresented want to be Wildcats, shouldn't we empower them that they can be? We have an obligation to serve everyone, every faith, every creed, every orientation, every identity across the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Diversity and inclusion is interwoven into the fabric of our college. Certainly we have conscious efforts and a diversity office, and through those efforts we try to promote an inclusive environment, recognizing all the different kinds of folks that um, are part of the fabric of agriculture, food, and environment. I think it, I think that's what it is. I think it's just, it's very intentional. I think that's our thing about ag, is we, we all have open minds, because we know there's so many possibilities within agriculture, and we are able to just give whatever it is that we can because we know it's going to help someone somewhere. And so being able to connect with people from diverse backgrounds, diverse perspectives, we can learn from them and be able to explore in that regard. Being in classes with people from all over the U.S. and all over the world has kind of brought the global perspectives to me. And we learn from each other and we get experiences that make us not think about just what we want to do. We've got a lot of students who are coming from various parts of Kentucky, parts of the country, and a part, part of the world. And I think we need to make sure that we understand that when students come in, they're looking for something different uh, from what they've been exposed to. We hope that they're willing and able to step outside of their comfort zones and be able to explore what the college has to offer, whether it's through the diverse majors, the student organizations, you name it, we've got it. The sciences that we teach are more credible and effective with diverse empirical uh, support. And the same is true for our classrooms and workplaces. Diversity really does make us stronger. The research shows that it creates discussions, it creates dialogue, it creates um, uh, creative thinking, it, it creates um, it, it opens opportunities and exposes you to things that you never thought you would be exposed to before. One is it's the right thing to do to be inclusive of everyone and to treat everyone with respect. The second thing is the workplace requires a comfortable or a level of comfort with diversity. Our students may leave the college and go to an international firm where they work with folks from 10 different cultures, national cultures, and everything in between. So it's got a practical point and also it's just the right thing to do. Uh, we are working closely with uh, many of the Fortune 500 companies um, that are wanting to create a pipeline of diverse talent and ensuring that our students are prepared for that um, diverse workforce when they do enter it. I think it's easy for us to look at diversity um, from a numerical standpoint, you know, um, how many students of color do we have? How many of them are involved or uh, within a certain major? You know, how many faculty members do we have from a certain racial uh, ethnic composition background? Um, but really diversity is more about just having the numbers there. It's about allowing first for um, recruiting individuals into a program, but also, which research shows, establishing the ability for them to have a sense of belonging. You know, there, there's diversity in recognizing differences. There's inclusion, which is, you know, opening the door for folks. But then there's really a sense of fostering belonging, where everyone feels like they have the same amount of input, their voice is heard just as much as the person sitting next to them, and that's really what we're striving for here. Diversity is about being invited to the dance uh, while inclusion is being asked to dance to music you want to hear. I'm, I'm extremely proud that we have an assistant dean for diversity in our college. Having an office of diversity that is visible for all students to be able to see. And it is a really large obligation and we're doing pretty well in our college because we are consciously trying to train and educate students about how to work in different cultures. But if we're not doing that, we're not doing our job. And it's amazing how many of those large land-grant universities that are our brothers and sisters uh, in the Southeastern Conference don't have a similar position. 
Um, when different perspectives are at the table, um, you're learning about one another, um, you're bringing different ideas, and when those different ideas are brought to the table, um, that brings innovation. And so with that innovation and those ideas, we are able to do bigger and better things, not only in the college, in the community, but also globally as well. The College of Agriculture, Food and Environment truly does ensure that students, faculty, and staff um, have that sense of belonging here in the college um, through the resources that we offer. One of the most valuable lessons that we can teach young people at the institution is to be gentle and mindfully listen to others. No matter what discipline you're in, whether you're an engineer, whether you're in natural or social sciences, if you don't have the ability to listen to others, you really impede your ability to channel and get that really rich information, rich data that could be used to make a conscious decision that not only benefits you, but benefits your institution and your community, which essentially makes this world a much better place.